What's going on, everybody? It's your girl, Dana Patrice, a.k.a. The Black Fairy. Welcome to all my subscribers and guests. I love y'all. Thank you so much for the continued love and support. This reading is for the collective. It's for those of you who are in a no communication situation. If you've been ghosted, this is where you want to be. It's for all signs. Please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell if it resonates. And even if it doesn't, because it won't for all. And that's cool, too. But let's get into it and find out. What's going on, Everybody, it's your girl Dana Patrice aka the Black Fairy and I'm here with another reading for the collective this is all about no communication we're tapping into that no communication energy so if you've been thinking about somebody that maybe has ghosted you and you want some more information this reading is for you especially if it came across your path and you clicked play okay so we're gonna get right into it I'm gonna get the energy of this person and we're going to see what's going on with these non-communicating i'm going to keep this clean <laughs> okay so let's get into it spirit of the universe i call you forward in love light righteousness and truth what is the energy from these non-communication energies we seek your guidance your love so we have two cards that dropped out we have quiet time. So the energy of this person, they're taking time to themselves. Maybe they need time to think. Maybe they need time to weigh, uh, time away, time in isolation to get their things together. I say that as well because we have financial flow. This is the energy of the person that's not communicating with you. They are concentrating on their finances. They're taking quiet time more so to financially plan things better for themselves at this time. Okay. Let's get into the actual reading and see what's going down. Spirit of the universe, I call you forward in love, light, righteousness, and truth. What is the message in regards to this non-communication energy? You seek your guidance, your love, and divine clarity. No communication So from what I'm gathering from the, the tarot deck anyways, is that this person is kind of in the midst of something for sure, right? They're having trouble getting past certain aspects, which is probably why they're taking the quiet time that they need in order to figure things out. I say that because we have the queen of wands in reverse. Okay, now the wands energy is very much entrepreneurship, business orientated energy with the queen of wands in reverse they could feel as though they aren't i'm hearing that they don't feel worthy of you like maybe you're the queen of wands and it's in reverse because they don't think that you are passionate about them anymore they don't think that um that you're for them that you're on fire for them let's say um i do see the six of swords in reverse too they haven't completely learned all the lessons that they need to learn in order to move forward towards you, in order to come out of the fog. They're still learning, right? Which is why probably spirit put them in a spiritual timeout. We also have them, you know, they, they do want to communicate. They've been thinking about you. I get this feeling with the hanging man in reverse. They want to communicate, right? But they're still going through some karmic cycles represented here by the Wheel of Fortune, right? They're not, they don't feel like they have very many options, probably options to get with you and that's why they're working through that but they are trying to break through these patterns right and i feel like spirit is also trying to teach them with the eight of swords in reverse if it were upright they would be surrounded by their issues holding themselves back but with it in reverse i'm seeing that they are trying to come out of this energy they really are and i feel like they want to get their finances together, their business together before they come back to you. Let's get some romance angels involved and see what's going down. Let's see what's going down with the romance angels and see what they have to say about the situation. Spirit, we're calling you forward in love, light, righteousness, and truth. We call on you romance angels. What is going on? Please clarify these, this non-communication energy. 
that we are receiving from our partners or would-be lovers, right? Releasing your ex. So they may also be trying, the time has come to clear your energy. So this also might be a factor. They're clearing their energy, trying to release their ex so that they don't bring those problems into a relationship with you. Perhaps them not speaking to you is a form of protection from the ex, not wanting them to get involved, not wanting them to ruin what they may be trying to build with you or what they may want to build with you. What else, Spirit? What else, Romance Angels? Religious factors may be an issue. So perhaps a part of these things that they're going through, what they're thinking about during their quiet time is the fact that maybe you guys are so different in the spiritual aspect, right? So there seems to be different things, money, exes, um, spiritual factors, maybe not having the same beliefs as you. What else, spirit? No communication energy. Romance angels. One more card. Thank you. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So they are trying to make a decision about you. Again, I do see them wanting to move forward, wanting to move past these issues with you. But also feeling like maybe these issues may keep you two apart, right? They've been calling you in energy at the bottom of the deck, calling in your soulmate, right? They have been saying prayers, affirmations, and trying to visualize yourselves together. But again, the blockages are happening because of these outside issues. You know, they want to be very flirtatious with you. They want to make an effort with you, right? They want to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations with you. These are things that they want to discuss, right? And the situation is calling for us to have trust. And I feel like they're trying to have trust, Right, But with the separation card at the bottom of the deck, I'm seeing that time apart is still there. So they're not going to come forward right now. Let's see here. Let's get some confirmation with the love oracle cards in regards to this energy with our non-communicating partners. Clarify this energy for non-communication. We seek your guidance, your love, and your divine clarity, Spirit. Please clarify this energy for the non-communication. So we have photographs. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories. Didn't I say that? They're thinking of you. They want to come forward. They're having these memories and they want, they're having a hard time just making the decision to come forward considering all the things that's going on around them, right? So they're, they're, they're definitely seeking you out. Healthy choices, making healthy choices in love, life, self-love, self-care, being happier. So I feel like this is a part of their journey as well. They're starting to to recognize that they need to make healthier choices. They're trying. They're starting to recognize that it's you who they want, right? And then we had the third card come out, and it says mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflected our wounds, introspect. I feel like this is the energy of why they had to, you know, um, separate from you, right? Because you were mirroring them. Right, you were, you, the, and it reflected on their own wounds, probably having to do with the religious factors, having to do with releasing their ex, wanting to be in a better financial position before they come forward to you. So this person is definitely thinking of you. They definitely want to be with you. They definitely um, want you to consider taking them back with this energy. But again, they're taking the time to really reflect and become better, and make sure that when they do come back that it resonates um, and that it is fulfilling and that it, it can be everything that they truly want it to be. Um, anything else, Spirit, in regards to this energy? I got one flipped over. Anything else, Spirit, in regards to this energy? coffee cup meeting conversing savoring the moment feeling uplifted friendship so they do want to meet up with you i do have a feeling that they're going to be reaching out again very soon to try to get together and work things out and move forward through everything right 
another reminiscing, keepsakes, perception, learning from the past, making memories. So when they come forward, they probably will be very forthcoming with why they ghosted you, where they went, why they needed to do it. Um, and and you'll get the answers that you're seeking in regards to your individual circumstances. But this person is still really into you, looking at your pictures, wanting to be with you. It's just that this time they don't feel like they have what they need in order to move forward in the ways that they want to move forward in. And right when I said that the clock was at 10.01. Right. So let's get some 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 advice from the angels. Let's get some some guidance from our, our angels and see what they say. Spirit of the universe, I call you forward in love, light, righteousness, and truth. What is your divine guidance for those of us in this ghosting situation, in this non-communicating situation? What is your advice to us, spirit? What is your advice to us, divine angels? energy work and it says life can be electrifying because it's very essence is energy your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients so spirit wants you to work on your energy when you work on your energy when you are in the place of receiving it's easier for you to manifest the things that you desire including people 11 11 on the clock that being said, Spirit is saying that it's time for you to work on your energy. If you want this person to come back in your life, then you've got to work on your energy. Have an open energy. Have positive energy. Have a welcoming energy so that they can feel that and feel confident in reaching back out to you. Because at this time, they're not very confident with everything they're going through. They have a lot of things at the forefront of their mind that they think are blockages in regards to this reunion. So if you open up your energy and you have this welcoming, loving energy even now towards them, even though you're not speaking, they will feel it. Because energy moves. Energy speaks louder than words, as we know. So if this is what you want, Get the energy right so that you're able to welcome them, welcome them in, okay? So that is it for the reading. I love you. I believe in you. You've got this. Stay tuned. Remember that I go um, live weekday mornings, 9.30 a.m. Eastern time with, um, you know, a, a spiritual message from our guides. That's something you're interested in. Please join us. I love you. I believe in you. You got this. Talk to you soon. <laughs> Thank you.